Hi and welcome. Uh, this video is going to demonstrate how to import a spreadsheet of products into your SI 2015 catalog for the purpose of updating pricing. Um, there are two main reasons why you might import products. Updating pricing or possibly importing brand new products. Um, so this one will focus on just updating uh, pricing for existing products. And the spreadsheet um, may come from many places. You may have uh, exported uh, previous data from another software, maybe an accounting system or something like that, uh, and you want to try to update the pricing within um, SI2015 for products that you may have already entered, um, like you downloaded from DTools or you hand entered these products. And the match is going to occur on the uh, model number, as you'll see. So um, let's go ahead and uh, import this. We'll go to Start, Catalog, Manage Products. So this is a listing of the products that are currently in uh, my local database here. Uh, many were downloaded, some were hand entered using the new button. But now um, I want to import a spreadsheet from a particular manufacturer. Um, so that's another reason too, is you might have gotten a spreadsheet from a vendor or a manufacturer with um, the, you know, the selling price of the product or maybe the MSRP of the product and then what your cost is. And then once imported, you'll be able to um, set your selling price if you'd uh, like or possibly pull in the MSRP as your uh, selling price so it's up to you how you want to map the fields so to do that um, go to the tools menu here in the product explorer and click the import button and you're going to be prompted to choose a CSV file and it has to be a CSV uh, file file extension which is a comma separated value uh, also called comma delimited so if you get like an Excel spreadsheet, that's a file extension is XLS or XLSX. Uh, you're going to want to do a file save as on that and save it as a CSV. So um, what we see here um, in this particular spreadsheet, um, there's four columns. And uh, this, is, um, this interface here is where you're going to map your fields. In this case, there's a column called product number. Um, and our software didn't recognize that. So um, we're going to match that to a field. And in this case, that happens to be the model number. And you have to have a model number, at least in this um, spreadsheet, to get going. And you also want to have column headers also. That's um, important, even if they don't match up the exact fields. As you can see, you're going to be able to map these here or unmap, uh, which I'll show as well. So in this case, I want to add, um, click the map button here and map the product number from the CSV file, the spreadsheet to the model number inside of SI2015. Um, now the description field uh, automatically matched our short description field in SI2015. But since I'm doing an update here just for pricing, I don't necessarily want to overwrite the descriptions that are already in SI2015. So I'm going to unmap this. So you click the map button here and then click this none button down here. And that will remove the uh, mapping for that. Um, the column retail matched automatically to the MSRP field inside of SI 2015, which is a placeholder. Um, the, the fields that are really important are the, the cost and selling price, but um, the retail price from a spreadsheet might not be your um, selling price. Uh, if it is, you can remap this field. So rather than pull it into the MSRP field, the placeholder, we could say, you know what, let's map this and set it as the unit price. So you have that option. So that's overriding, um, again, one of the pre-maps. And then uh, the field or the column called dealer in the spreadsheet, um, you're going to have to obviously know what that means, and hopefully, and in this case, it's going to be the unit cost, so the dealer cost. So this example is trying to show that there will be mismatches in names um, in your spreadsheet. So once you've mapped what you want to pull in uh, to the software, go ahead and click the next button here. And this is just a little summary of what's mapped um, and based on the previous settings here. Go ahead and click finish and this is going to open up a window that is the import editor and uh, here you're going to be able to see the results of, of the spreadsheet and decide what you want to import. So the first place to look um, once you once this opens is to go up here to the filter and you'll be able to um, see quite a few different options here to filter to on the various status of, of this data. Um, so this particular spreadsheet, out of all 140 items that are in there, all 140 are inadequate. So that filter just shows the same results. 
And the reason for that is manufacturer is required. We're matching on model number and the manufacturer name. Uh, there's always a possibility that there could be a duplicate model number with different manufacturers. So you need to assign a manufacturer to each one of these items. Um, so in this case, the spreadsheet came from, um, we'll say a vendor. So it's all gonna be the same manufacturer in this particular instance. If it's not, you'll have to pick and choose. Um, and you may wanna go back and do that in the spreadsheet ahead of time before you try to import, like add a manufacturer column and fill everything out. But since this is for all the same, um, my example is gonna be uh, selecting everything, which I'm gonna use control A on the keyboard. And I'm gonna use the mass update function here. And uh, there aren't many fields here to, to update, but manufacturer is the one that's important. And I'm gonna match it to the manufacturer uh, in the SI2015 database, in this case, this manufacturer. We'll hit save, um, hit okay. And when you close the form, you'll see that now um, the filters have changed because now we're actually trying to match the existing items. So uh, there's still 19 inadequate fields. If you click that, it's uh, some of the columns here uh, didn't have any model numbers in them. There's just some numbers uh, in that spreadsheet. So it's kind of, it's garbage data, essentially. So um, I don't even worry, you don't even worry about those. It, they will not import. You're not gonna clutter your database with, with garbage data like this. Um, there are 43 matches. So these already exist in um, the SI2015 catalog. And that's the point of this. I wanna import these matched items just to update the pricing. Again, you can assume like this might be the initial price setting in the software or possibly a price update, um, you know, every month or every two months, whatever your manufacturer slash vendor updates pricing. Um, there's also 76 new items. These don't exist in the catalog. And uh, this video is not gonna demonstrate importing new items, because um, this is gonna be a severe lack of data if I try to import new items. Inside of uh, SI2015, um, we tend to require a category. Um, we'll let you import these products without a category, but eventually you're gonna have to add one. Uh, subcategories recommended, but there's also um, other things in here that um, they, there's no description field. Um, you saw me unmap that. So I'd probably want a description field to come in for new products. So, if you do have the intent to import new, you might want to do two separate imports. This mapping for the uh, price updates, then go remap it um, with the description field, and then pull in your new ones, and then fill in the additional data inside of SI2015, like phase and uh, labor hours, if you want to charge labor per item, all of those things that you would have seen in uh, previous videos. But again, we're going to focus on these, but um, there's also duplicates showing. So some spreadsheets are going to be like that. There'll be duplicate products based on model number. And there's a little function out here where you can pick one of these from the duplicates. In this case, they're both identical. Um, that's a good thing. So we'll just pick this one. Uh, I don't even know if that's a matched item. Uh, it wasn't, it was a new item. But we're gonna focus on these and import these. So all you have to do um, once you've verified this data is choose, uh, click the import button here. And then I'm only gonna pull in the matched, like I said in this case, versus new or new and matched. So we'll pull in all the matched items. And here you get another chance to decide which field you want to import. And we're going to go ahead and let all of these import. And uh, 43 items of the match were imported. So now all of those existing items in my uh, catalog have a pricing set now, a cost and a unit price. And uh, when you're done, you can close this uh, import editor. And uh, it's going to let you know, again, remember there's uh, 96 products waiting to import here, uh, inadequate and new. The inadequate, again, won't import, but um, do you still want to exit? We'll say yes in this case. And, um, you know, you can go find an item if you want. Let's go uh, quick search here. We'll pull this one up. And uh, this is one of the matches that came in. So when we open this up and we go to the price tab, you'll see that the pricing has been imported uh, from the spreadsheet.